talk, and trivia. Wow, 60 minutes. <laughs> I got a lot ahead of me here. Guys, we're going to have a good time. We are going to do my favorite thing, which is nonsense trivia. It's not important. There are no stakes. But if you lose, I will call you a loser. Welcome <laughs> to the show today. We have a, a cast of wonderful guests and Fox News favorites. We'll start with Sean Duffy. Sean's a former U.S. representative for Wisconsin's 7th District. The best district, I might add. No doubt the best, for sure. Also Fox News contributor, plus he holds two speed climbing titles from the Lumberjack World Championships. Is that a real credit or is that one of my silly yeah. fake credits that I put in there? No, no, that's real. Actually, it's three times, Tom, three times. Ooh. Speed climbing, racing up and down, spar pole skills of the old time Lumberjack. Holy Great. cow. So you did all of that stuff that we see those guys do in the competitions. Yeah, I was a little bit younger and a little bit skinnier back then, but uh, yes, I did. Wow. That's impressive. And also the husband to the great Rachel Campos Duffy. And she might make an appearance, right? We might see her in the she background may. there. Yeah. She may. You know what? We also have with us Jillian Mealy. Jillian is awake, I think. Are you awake, Jillian? It's is debatable. All... We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> this is, as usual, uh, a late night show for you. And I'm just so glad. God bless you for showing up. She's co-host of Fox and Friends First weekdays, 5 to 6 a.m. Eastern Time, where she reports on the latest news headlines in style. And you know what? She may be, she's like, um, you know, Geraldo or Cher. <laughs> she's got the one name. Look at Jillian in the corner I, I, there. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know how to fill that out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm not awake. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're Jillian and everybody knows who that is. Adam Klotz is here. Adam currently serves as a meteorologist for the Fox News Channel and the Fox Business Network. Uh, I got a question. Do you have to, uh, do you ever, you know, you got to run from Fox Business over to Fox News? Who's your priority if they, if somebody really needs you? Ooh, Ooh wow. Fox You're really and Friends first, obviously. Yeah. yeah, wherever, wherever Jillian is, that's my priority. <laughs> I'm just wondering though, like, it, you know, I know if, if, uh, if they want you on the Fox News channel, but what if Lou Dobbs calls? I mean, you got to do what Lou says, right? You do have to, you have to do what Lou says. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know how we do things here. You're all trivia champions in the past. And so you know what happens. I throw the questions at you fast and furious. Because this is kind of a, uh, an internet thing, we don't have any buzzers. We don't have any bells. The only thing that happens is if you get a question right, I'll usually, <laughs> I'll hit the cocktail mixer. And that means you got it right. And we don't have any buzzers if you got it wrong. Usually I just go, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> but I'll go around. Each one of you will get a question and we'll start. We'll go, I think through the whole thing, we'll go Sean, Jillian, Adam, Sean, Jillian, Adam, and we'll just go around. And then at the end of every round, we will have an all question where everyone has to write down their answer with a Sharpie pen. So get those Sharpies ready for that. Are you guys ready? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? I didn't do the most important part of the happy hour. What we're drinking? Yes. Yeah. What we're drinking. Sean, tell us about that beer you have. So, so I'm drinking a Guinness, which has a nitrogen ball in it. So you open it and it, it tastes just like it's out of the Irish tap. Get a nice head on the beer. It's, wow. it's delicious. So the Cheers. nitrogen ball, it's just for the uh, for the, the carbonation. It's not some kind of, it sounds very. Yeah, it's a little yeah. ball in there of nitrogen. And it makes it just like what you'd get in the tap in an Irish pub. It's great. So it's dangerous almost. Almost. Yeah. Not. It tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> Jillian, what are you drinking? I think last time you did the show, you were kind of a teetotaler because you had to wake up early. I know, because I have to go. I'm usually asleep right now. So yeah. I, my happy hour is at noon. So I, I do have a wine glass just to be, you know, a little spirited here, filled with water that is and bad. let you guys into a little bit of my life. I have decaf green tea before bed every night. So we've oh, got both. That is fantastic. Oh. Decaf green tea, so healthy. Adam. <laughs> Not so healthy. What are you drinking? Not so healthy. Uh, this is bourbon. This is oh, bourbon. Uh, that is fantastic. I like larceny. What nice. is that again? Show me that label. Because I'm Show looking for a new bourbon to call this, my this own. Is, this is how I get my daily dose of corn. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> is that what you say? Uh -huh. You eat your vegetables. You eat yeah, your veggies, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm doing, once again, the St. Germain cocktail. Uh, I, St. Germain I was, is good. I was out at a jazz club one night and they, they were giving away free St. Germain cocktails. And, you know, the whole free drink thing, it really works because, 
I, I, I enjoyed it so much that I got a bottle for myself. And so it's St. Germain and a little gin and soda. So that's fantastic. Nice. Yum. That's yummy. Can I just say that Adam looks great with a five o'clock shadow? It looks really awesome, Adam. Uh, thank you. You know, I actually yeah, trimmed good. a little bit and tried to leave this longer. So I have like a little <laughs> bit of a. <laughs> Tom and I are jealous. I really am. <laughs> I know. I, I I don't like the look uh, that I get of the five o'clock shadow. It makes me look kind of dingy. Yeah, me too. But Adam, it just gives you that edge, you know? Yeah, the bad boy of weather. I've been trying to push this for years. Bad, bad, boy, of Maybe it's bad boy of weather. I love yeah. that. <laughs> the, uh, the bad boy of weather, man. Let's start round one, shall we? We're starting with Sean and off to the races. Sean, oh, this is... Uh, various vices, okay? Various vices. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's uh, things that are not good for you. Ooh, like, okay. Like the aforementioned corn <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> okay, Sean, what Oscar-winning actor got his big break playing stoner David Wooderson in the film Dazed and Confused? It was Dazed and Confused, and he, he was kind uh, of a... An older, he was out of high school, but he was still hanging around with the high school kids. Are we talking about Kenneth Branagh, Pauly Shore, or Matthew McConaughey? I uh, don't. Is it Pauly Shore? Pauly I don't know. Shore I don't know. is. Woo! No, no, I didn't, oh, I, didn't hit. I stopped short. Pauly Shore was dazed and confused at the time, but it was Matthew McConaughey. Shoot. All right, all right, all right, all right. Did you ever hear that one, Sean? No, I don't. I didn't. I don't. I don't think I watched Dazed and Confused. Days Remember, and he Confused. lives in the woods. He does. It was like uh, yeah, exactly. a Dazed and Confused was like my. It was my high school. You know, it was, was like your jam. Yeah, it was just like my high school, and there was always that guy who graduated several years before, but somehow he showed up at all the parties, <laughs> and that was <laughs> that was Matthew McConaughey. All right, let's go to Jillian. Okay. Jillian, who are you likely to find rolling down the street, sipping gin oh. and juice? Wow, it looks like she she wants to answer this before I even finish the question. No, I don't. I, I'm drawing a total blank. I'm like singing it in my head. Sipping gin and juice. Sipping on gin and juice. I don't know. With his mind I, on his money and his money. His money on his on mind. His mind. I don't know. I know the song. I, I don't know. Well, I'm going to give you a choice here. Okay. Is it Tucker Carlson? No, <laughs> debatable, but no. Marshall Mathers, aka no. aka Eminem. Eminem, no. Or Snoop Dogg. It's Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. It's Snoop -a Loop. Yes. That was way too easy. Come you on. think that was easy, huh? I okay. guess. <laughs> well, the yeah, I know the Tucker Carlson was kind of. It was really a choice between two, but it, mm -hmm. but Sean, let's be honest. It could have been could have been old Eminem, right? No. No. no, no, no. So, yeah, what is the one that? Because uh, Snoop was what Snoop was well before Eminem, right? This was this is like old school. Okay. Hip hop, yeah. gin and juice, yeah. and then uh, what is it? Uh, the uh, I'm sipping on coke and rum. So what? I'm drunk. You know that one? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're not, that's very different. <laughs> that's a different song. I can't. I, we were not even supposed to mention that artist's name. Is that the remix to Ignition? It is. Did I yeah. that up? <laughs> All right, Jillian. Yeah. Good. So Jillian's got one point. Let's go on to Adam. Adam. I don't get an extra for that. Well, look, uh, I, I I'm not in the habit of giving out extra points right in the first round, especially yeah, when Sean. One. Sean is very hot under that flannel collar of his for, uh, for his first question. He doesn't appreciate what I've done here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, approximately fifty percent of the world's coffee drinkers prefer what kind of coffee? What kind of coffee I'm talking about? Half of the world drinks this every morning. Is it decaf, instant, no. or pod coffee? Coffee from pods. Half the world must drink decaf coffee. Half the world drinks decaf coffee. Is he right? No, no it's instant. Oh, instant? Instant? Can you believe it? What? Yeah. what? Nobody right. drinks instant anymore in the U.S. of A. But we did. Drink coffee. For us. When I was younger, my parents drank uh, instant coffee. Robert wow. Young drank instant coffee, uh, but they still drink it like 
crazy in South America. They love their instant coffee. Wow. Who knew? Yeah. Yeah, Unbelievable. Who knew? That was a tricky one. Now, Sean, that one. That one that was hard. You, can't, you, you can't come back to me now. You got to skip me first and go to Jillian. I'm, now I go Fine. to the end, right? Well, no, no. Because no, I'm, I'm going in around here. And I think. Oh. But I want you to know, Sean, you should appreciate that because I think Adam's question was even harder than yours. That was, it was hard. That was hard. You guys look at Jillian. Nespresso is awesome. Yeah, it's Nespresso. great and it's very easy. A lot of people, I think, when you if you ask that question, they would say pods because they see the pods everywhere. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, anyway. here we go. Back to Sean. Sean, which Austin Powers character wants Mini Me to get in his belly and really wants his baby back, <laughs> baby back, baby back ribs? Can you answer before I? No, you got to give me the choices, but I'm okay. gonna get it right. I feel it. Give you the choices. Is that Scott Evil, Mustafa, or Fat Bastard? Fat Bastard. Yeah, there it is. Wow, wow, wow. There. Woo! I had to wait till you actually hit it so you didn't trick me again, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Julian that, Ironside. That's right. He's the Scottish guy. Get in my belly. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put up a point there for Sean. Somebody else is keeping score somewhere. That Somehow during the happy hour, I, I cannot be... <laughs> called upon to keep score and do all this other nonsense. Jillian, Got it. I promise this one will not be as easy as the last one. Oh, come on. Jillian, in 2012, there was a film called Ted. I can't believe it was 2012. Yeah, I never saw that. Okay, go ahead. Mark Wahlberg's character is best friends with a teddy bear who likes to drink, curse, and smoke pot. In the film, both Wahlberg and his teddy bear are terrified of what? What are Mark Wahlberg and the teddy bear afraid of? Is it women, soft shell tacos, or thunder? Oh, God, I never saw this movie. Think uh, of, think of uh, it's a comedy, and think of both the characters. I both. feel like women. Women. Women is wrong. Ah, darn. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. We're very scary. <laughs> I know. Joey, it's like, it must be women. She's like, all the guys I know are scared to death of women. <laughs> There's a nice throw, Tommy. Like, hey, listen, it's 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 a comedy. So, of course, it's got to be women, not Thunder. Right? Well, you know. It's totally the, trick. The For the dog lovers among us, Sean, you got a dog, right? Isn't he afraid of Thunder? Uh, yes, they're all afraid of Thunder. They yeah. Are. So I think that was the, the the funny thing about it is that the the, the stuffed I mean, animal and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, but most grown men I know aren't afraid afraid of thunder. I know that's what's so funny when you see old Marky Mark hiding under a pillow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that should have been Adam's question as the weatherman in thunder. That would have been perfect yeah. for him. I yeah, true. they're thunder buddies. True. I know it. they're thunder buddies in that movie. <laughs> they are. They are. That's a. Sometimes that phrase means something else. Adam, <laughs> here's your question. Oh. Adam, after Congress passed the Public Health Cigarette Smoking Act in 1970, cigarette ads on TV were banned. Okay, In the final cigarette ad that aired at 11.59 p.m. on December 31st, 1970, 1970, this was on The Tonight Show, what brand of cigarettes were featured in the commercial? Was it Chesterfield's, Virginia Slim's, or Lucky Strike? And I don't know if I, this is a really hard one. Yeah, you're giving me really tough ones that, well, I know this, but I'm going to make a hard one, but, but uh, I'm going to tell you this. Their slogan, as you can see on the screen, was, you've come a long way, baby. I know it. Can you've you come tell a long me? way, baby. Was it what Chesterfields, was it? Virginia Slims, or Lucky Strike? So I thought... I was gonna guess Lucky Strike, but you just made me say Virginia Slim. You basically just gave it away. That's my answer. Why did I know? Let's do the answer first, and I want to ask you <laughs> the question. The answer is Virginia Slim. It was the inflection Virginia. in your voice. It was. Yeah. When you, you said baby, yeah, you made you let, yeah. you let me know. I'll take it though. Well, do you know why you've come a long way, baby? Do you understand what that uh, that phrase uh, was? Do, do you know who the cigarettes Virginia Slims were marketed to, Adam? Um, babies. 
women. They were not babies. They were women. They were marketed right. for women. They were marketed to the women that Marky Mark or Mark Wahlberg, whatever his name is in his teddy bear, were afraid of. Yes, exactly. And right. they were. I know. I mean, I never understood as a kid. I used to see these ads. You've come a long way, baby. And I didn't know what it meant, but it was always featured a woman smoking one of these. Uh, uh, they were long, dark, skinny cigarettes. They were long, no. skinny, slim cigarettes, and they were darker. And uh, I guess it was like a feminist message, like "You go, girl." I, I I don't know, but that's it. Is it almost like Corella Deville with a long, yes, a little like, attachment there? Yeah, like you didn't yeah. need a a cigarette holder when you had a Virginia right. Slim. That's right. That's right. Okay, we are on to. We're back to Sean. Am I right? Me first, I guess. Yeah. Right. I'm off. Let's go. I'm just going. I'm coming for Julian now. Sean. Oh, wait a minute. That was Adam's question. Virginia Slims. We're on to the. We're at the end of the round. This is a okay. everybody question. Okay, get ready. Get uh, your markers out. You're all gonna have a chance at this one. Whoever gets it right gets a point. So you can all get a point, or you could none get a point. Get your part. Your markers ready. This is gonna be asked uh, via videotape, as they used to say. I have a special guest, Casey McDonald. Give us the question. It's time for today's happy hour all-star pop quiz question. Hi, Tom. I have one that's equal parts fascinating and equal parts sad. <laughs> okay, so according to British psychologist, Dr. Nicholas Emler, up to 80% of all human conversations consist of what? Is it A? Gossip? Is it B, foul language? Or C, lies? So sad. <laughs> Good luck. Huh. That is sad. Although it's not really a giveaway. It could be any of those because I guess there's, they're all considered a vice. They're all considered not good. So 80% of human conversations consist of gossip, foul language, or lies. You know what I'm going to do? Huh. I've never done this before. I'm going to participate in this too. So you will get your answer via marker. Okay. Hold them up, guys. Hold, hold on, hold on. High. What's that? She's not done yet. Okay. Hold it up high. Put it right up there to the. I gave the answer and then my answer because I. I... Hold it closer, Jillian. I can't see your your. Uh... She wrote gossip, but for her, it's foul language. <laughs> the answer is gossip. gossip. That's right. Okay, y'all get a point. Points around the board. Points around the board. Now, did, did Casey give it away? Did she give you a little like? No, she did not. Eyes when she she said, unlike you, she did not. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, I, I want to uh, say the uh, uh, Casey's got a new show. It's called Monsters Across America, and it's available now exclusively on Fox Nation. Look at that. That is fantastic. What is that? Monsters Across, Monsters America. Across America. She's, you know, she's exploring the monsters. Big like Sasquatch, like Sasquatch. And yeah, all, okay. all your favorite, all your fave monsters. Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it's uh, across America, so I'm doubt, I'm doubting not, uh, Nessie going, makes an appearance. <laughs> Maybe the Salt Lake. The English Channel. <laughs> the Salt Lake Monster, I think, could make it. <laughs> now it is time for, uh, for Sean. We have our acted out round. So you were given a secret word or phrase. Okay. A, a, a book, a film, a TV show, something like that. And okay. it was sent to you via email. I don't know what it is. Our other guests okay. don't know what it is. And you have 60 seconds to act it out without using any verbal words. I didn't know we were okay. acting things out. Yes, it's the acted out round, Jillian. It's news to me. Yours is coming. Did you get yours, Jillian? I'm trying to find it right now. I did. Okay. I did. I did. Just you can here. check it out in your email. Now, pay attention to Sean because he's got 60 seconds. Go, Sean. Okay. Okay. He's. It's round. It's big. YMCA. No. Yes. It's a sun. Is it a sun? It's a it's sun. sun. Adam's good. It's a sun. Oh, it's a sun. Rocky and riding Rocky? It's box. Rocky. It Rocky 5? It's something with the sun and sun. Rock, Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. No, you already said that. Sun. Who was boxing in it? Or you know? He's erasing. Fighting. Uh, wait. <laughs> Who was Rocky? Did Rocky have a son? 
Yeah, that was Rocky oh. Five. I thought that was an awful movie. Yeah. Okay, listen, I can't do this. I don't. You I, yeah, I don't. I can't. Well, okay. no. We're gonna have Come one. On. Final... No, it's, no, I can't. Wait a minute. One, You're not Tom? supposed to be talking, Sean. We got. You start talking, then I stop your clock. But the thing is, I'm gonna give uh, Jillian and Adam one final chance. It, 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 were we right about Sun and you're right about Sun and Rocky? Uh, Rocky was a lead into kind of the city that this, the movie took place in. Uh, I see. So it's like the Sun, Philadelphia where Sun. Did, I'll give you one more guess, Adam or Jillian. Um, uh, the, um, I got nothing. Philadelphia Sun. I don't know. We didn't get it. What is it, Sean? It's always oh, sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, I, oh. Sean, that I've was never good. Seen the, I've never seen the TV show, man. I'm so from I there. I should have known that. Holy Jillian. We should have gotten I don't know what I'm going to do. What's that? How do you do Philadelphia? It's, uh, it's like you did it. I, listen, listen, Rocky. It. Sean, you yeah, were Yeah, I, I get, I get you what you're good. doing. I, I'm, I've got to say that it was. it's on us because... You we're saying Sun and Philadelphia. We probably should have got it, but the production cool. failed. Production failed. I know. <laughs> we are we are on so, to round two, guys. On to round two. This is the photo round. So I'm going to be showing you a an image, uh, and you're going to be seeing sexy cinema sirens, past and present. Sexy cinema si sirens, even though. Past and present. Sirens is kind of a word from the past, but <laughs> we'll start with Sean. Identify this sexy yeah. cinema siren. <laughs> yes. Sexy Her name was synonymous with, with beauty years ago. Yeah, she's good looking. That's true. I, uh, said, great hair. I get a choice? What's that again? Is this, is this multiple choice? It's No, you're supposed to name who oh. it is in the, fo the photo. We're all terrible. Rachel, come here. Hold on a second, Tom. Oh, this is not fair. What? He's phoning a friend. I'm, 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 gonna, tagging, I'm, I'm tapping out here. Here's Rachel. Who is Rachel? Who is who's this in the photo? Who is this? this is who's this in the photo? Can you hear uh, Tom? This is like old school. Can you hear? Yeah, I'm usually no so good with these old type stars. Is it? So you go with this. Oh, no, that looks like Jessica Simpson with a wig, doesn't it? Jessica Simpson! No! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is not. It's not just. It is. Put it up there. It's Raquel Welch. Oh, my Raquel. God. That doesn't look like her. Oh. That doesn't look Raquel like her at Welch. all. Uh, no. I brought no. in the big gun, and she didn't, and she didn't get it done for me. That does not look like her. I, that's she why I gave you so much like time. Her. I gave you so much time, and I let Sean phone a friend or phone a wife. Uh, but uh, we'll move on. Didn't get it. Jillian, name this sexy siren. Oh, gosh. What is her name? Um, God, you guys, I can't do this when I'm tired because I can't think. <laughs> is that Goldie Hawn? Goldie Hawn is yeah. right. <laughs> so yeah, easy. Right. So easy. That's why I am winning again. Adam, name this sexy siren. Um, uh, Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe is right. Marilyn yeah. Monroe is right. Oh, come on, Tom. Okay, Sean, let's take I get it. Raquel, I get Raquel Welch. I mean, let's I've never get, seen a let's move it into the modern, the modern world with this next one. Oh, is this anyone? Who is uh, this? I'm, I'm keeping Rachel here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. whose question yeah. is this? Sophia Vergara? No. It's Sean. Sophia Vergara? Sophia Vergara? <laughs> Sophia Vergara. That's right. I have no idea who that is. This is like so, total crap so that you're yeah, giving me. I don't know who that is. You don't know no. Sophia I should, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we all good. Well, you got it. There's a what point. What's she been in? What has she been in? I, you know what? I don't oh. even. I can't tell you okay. what she's been in. She's kind of like in. When I was a kid, you had the okay. uh, uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor. You, you know, we didn't know why she was famous, but she was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember? No, or Chato. Remember Chato? Chato, yes. I know. There was all those. I, I, could, I, could, I mixed them up. We were aging kid. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go to Jillian. Name this beauty. I thought you said we were doing modern era. It's from past and present. Oh, I don't know. Don't you know the show? I Dream of Jeannie. Yeah, I but I don't know who that is. I don't know. 
I'm, it's the original. Her first name was Barbara. Put it up there. It's Barbara Eden. Barbara Eden. Yeah, I know. I was going to say Easton. I was going to say Eden. Barbara Eden. They used to put uh, makeup over her belly button. Did they really? Yeah. That's awesome. Why? That was just too provocative. <laughs> she wore these uh, genie outfits, and I guess the belly button was too much, so they used to <laughs> fill it in, I guess. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so okay. Adam, name How the we've changed. Sexy Siren. Oh, come on. Yeah. They got easy ones. That's Megan Fox, right? Megan Fox? Megan Fox is right. I forgot what they, happened. They both like. got one from past and present. I got. I know. But both from past. Okay. So, Tom, what's the score here? How are we, how are we doing? How, what's, what's well, the Adam's score? winning by one. I am going to ask my uh, producers to put it up on the screen at the end of this round just to oh. kind of put a little fire under your belly. Uh, but right now, I don't know the score because, as you can see, I'm I'm just confused by all these really sexy sirens. Track of everybody. Well, if I'm right, Adam's winning. Back to Sean. Sean, who's this? Come on, Sean. What's her name? Is that, is that Farrah Fawcett? Yes, of course. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett is Good job. Right. Nice. Farrah Fawcett. Thank, nice. you. Thank you, Tom. Everybody Tom, had a poster when I was a kid. Everyone had that. Yeah, okay. Everyone had a poster. Jillian. Did you on the ceiling, Tom? <laughs> yeah, Who is that? that? You're giving me all these people I don't know. Jillian, this you is the modern world. world. This the is modern the world. No, she can hear you. I'm saying, don't this say is, it. She's modern? You know her. Well, she's somewhat modern. modern. How do I know her? She was in well, there, but you know her. She you won't know her name, but I, can I say that she's in Saved by the Bell? I don't care. Saved by the Bell. She oh, what's her name? Um, oh, I know now. And showgirl. Was she, was she Kelly? No, she wasn't Kelly. Was she Kelly in Saved by the Bell? No. I don't know. Adam's the Saved by the Bell expert. Yeah, Adam? <laughs> was her name? No, that's not Kelly. That's uh, No, was she, Kelly Tiffany Amber Thiessen? I don't, I don't know her name. No, that's not her. Put it up there. Elizabeth Berkeley. Yeah, I wouldn't know Berkeley. Oh. Uh, Elizabeth Berkeley. Yeah, she was so... Clean and wholesome and saved by the bell. And then she went and did showgirls and everybody was shocked. Showgirls. Okay. Here Never we go. Never saw that, Tom. Never Fine. saw that. There you go. <laughs> Adam, who's this sexy siren? Yeah, Going back yeah. a few years, but she's so Aww. famous. Um, uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. Doesn't know. I know the. They don't know who that is. I know. No. The, Rachel, who is it? Can we do a steal, Tom? I need points. Can we Sophia do a steal? Sophia Loren. I mean, like, she's like... Oh. Sophia Loren is right. But you oh, can't steal cool. because, look, there's two of you there. I know. I yeah, this fine. is not this fair. Is I'm letting there's, there's two of us. Oh, we're, yeah, we're, right, we're right. Rachel, I love you, but this is not fair. <laughs> 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 it is fair, but Jillian, he's still behind because Sean doesn't know anything. So I'm still it's losing. <laughs> no, I'm losing now. My beer is already gone. That's not, I'm taking uh, the the happy hour to heart. Back to Sean. Who is this? Okay. Oh, Jeez. I I love her. Come on. You can, this, you're they won't team. let me. They won't let me. Nobody. It's so easy. She's one of my favorite actresses. Yeah. This is not count. You can't I love do this. I, I love winning crashers. I know. <laughs> this is the only hint I'm giving you. I don't know. Listen. She shares my name. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, but I love wedding crashers. I don't know who's in it. She has the same first name as your wife, Sean. Rachel. I know Rachel's someone, and I don't know the rest. But love who, wedding crashers. Who is it, Jillian? It's Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Oh, Rachel okay. McAdams. I wouldn't have got that. That's how bad he is, Jillian. Like, Jill I give him the movie and tell him the first name, which is the same as his wife, and he still can't get it. I like the yeah. notebook. Hello. Yeah. So, I like how Sean I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jillian. Don't, <laughs> don't you sit on a Friday really night good. and watch the notebook? I like how Sean was satisfied <laughs> that he got the hint. I said, the first name as your wife. Rachel, I got it. Do I get a point? Do I get a point? Okay, let's go to Jillian. Who is this? Come on. Oh, what's her name? Um, God, I know. I know every answer that's not mine. Ugh. You know this one, Jillian. No, I, I know. I know who this is. I just don't. It's not coming to me. Mm -mm. Put it up on the screen. Salma Hayek. That's Thank you. Me. Thank you. Salma Hayek. I love that movie. Fools rush in that oh. she's. In. Yes, that's a great one, right? Who's yeah. it? That's, oh, that is, that's an oldie but goodie that I, I want to 
rewatch that one. That is yes. Awesome. Good one. Adam, who is this? Yeah. Who is this beauty from the past? Oh, wow. Um, the true so blonde bombshell. I have no clue. I don't know. I've never seen her picture before. <laughs> That is Jane Mansfield. Jane Mansfield. Oh, I don't know if anyone knows who that is. You just made that. Yeah. Up. No, that is she is a she's a famous one, Adam. But I deserve that one because I gave you Marilyn Monroe. Okay, on to Sean. Sean, no help from your wife on this one. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Maya? That's not Maya. That's. I should know. Uh, picture. I mean, it's hard to get her in the still picture, but picture the hips going back. Yeah, and I forth. can't give back. away clues. Is, Shania, is that Shania? It's not Shania. No. <laughs> it's so close. Not Shakira. Shania, but Shakira. 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 Did he get that? Wait, Rachel, Rachel was writing. I'm like, does this Shakira? This is Shania. You're <laughs> <laughs> writing. You were cheating. I can't even cheat well enough to get the point for Shakira. Shakira. You don't. You're, does that count? Is that a yes? It can't be. I mean, he couldn't even cheat on that one. <laughs> okay. I suck at this game. Could you give me an easy one, like Britney Spears or something? Okay, Jillian. Another Colombian. Jillian, let's let's go with this one. Oh, Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Thank right. you for finally giving me That's an easy one. Right. Okay. <sighs> On to Adam. I know. I think Adam's going to get this one. Oh yeah, that's uh, What's her name. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy. That's right. Ding, ding, ding. Jenny McCarthy. Jenny yeah. McCarthy. Okay, Sean. Boom. Say it fast, quick, fast. Oh, come oh, come on. Can I give him the hint? Like, don't uh, even pretend like you don't know who that is. Now you're just lying to us, Sean. You're yeah, only you're a liar. liar. <laughs> I never look at these women. They watch. I never, Pamela Anderson, I've never seen yeah. her before. <laughs> never, Pamela Tom. Anderson. Never. I've never seen her in a magazine before. <laughs> By the way, Tom, Tommy Lee says he's leaving the country if Donald Trump's reelected. I just read that. Headline. I just read that too. <laughs> really? Pamela Anderson, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. They all say they'll leave. They never, I they never do. Always threatening. Okay, <laughs> Jillian, again, from the past. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hint. Uh, I don't know how to give you a hint. It's she's, French. She's French. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you keep torturing everyone by going to me. I know. Well, I mean, it's, this <laughs> Can is. Can somebody a, else answer it and get a point? Can we steal yeah. Tom? No, well, because if we could have stolen, I would have stolen this whole time. She would. I know. Jillian would have. That's fair. She would have got it. But who is it, Rachel? Name her. It's Bridget Bardot. Bridget Bardot. That's right. I don't I even know who that know is. That. I don't either. Really <laughs> is that. Tom, who's putting this stuff up? Where are you getting these pictures? Well, you can call with Rachel beforehand. This is ridiculous. I love I, old movies. I told and you, past together. and present, past and present. You got to know the whole the whole deal. Well, how about this? We are now ready for our act it out from Jillian. Jillian, did you look in your? I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't really know. I. Do I get another one? You want another one, right? Oh. But what I did was, I think the next round. Begins with Adam. Okay. So don't don't he's try making, to steal points from me. Don't steal points from me. I don't. I, no, the thing is, making I the like, rules up as he goes. <laughs> I understand you want it to be even, but for some reason, my producer Rich left off. He didn't do even numbers in the round, so now we've got to. But oh. don't worry about it. It's all going to work out in the end. Okay. So in my email, is this where it says, here is your title to remember? Because that's a little confusing. That's, it. that's the title to remember. Don't say it out loud because you have to. Yeah, I don't know how to act this out, though. I wish that I knew that I had to act this out. This was not made clear in this email because then I would have practiced it. Mm -hmm. thought of something. Well, you know what? I don't know how to act this out. This is the happy hour improv class. So you just have to say yes to everything. And I don't know how to act this out. I really don't. Do you ever play parades, Jillian? Um, no, I, I don't play any games. Break it down. Break it down into words. <laughs> No, I tr I truly don't know. I truly don't know how to act this out. I truly, truly don't. Just I give it a shot. 
I think it's sunny Philadelphia. Come on. I know. I know. You guys don't understand. I've been awake since midnight. My brain doesn't think like this this quickly. Okay, look, I'll take you through it. I'll take you through it, Jillian, right? Uh, just hold up your fingers. How many words is it? How many words in the phrase? How many words? It's five words. Five words. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? Okay, so, I, I can do this. I'm not going to act it out, but I can give you hints, okay? First word. First word. Wait, I have to give you the first word? No, no. What's wh Well, what's your hint? Give me the hint. Which word do you want to give okay. a hint? Um, there are two people. I, there are two people in this title. Okay. How many words did you say? I mean, five. okay, so say five words. Words. for the duration of the time, Jillian, try not to break the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Am I breaking the rules? It's charade. <laughs> so now we know there are two people in this five word phrase. <laughs> Act it out, Jillian. Is anybody getting it? No. <laughs> Dumb and dumber. Is that five words? Dumb and dumb. No, I, don't, I honestly don't. Is this, a, is this even a movie? I don't even know what this is. I don't. I uh, Guys, I'm the worst. Come on. <laughs> is the clock running? Come on. Come I on, don't Dylan. know. I don't know how to act this out. Put the phrase up there. What is it, guys? Tom and Jerry. An officer, an officer and a gentleman. Gentleman. Just saluted. I, I got out. An officer and a gentleman with Richard Green. No, I don't even know what that is. That, that's a good movie for you to watch. Actually, you probably really liked that. Oh, that's a great that's one. That's a Friday night instead of The Notebook. You know what, Rachel? Any Deborah Winger movie is a classic. I agree. I agree 100%. How about Terms She's of Endearment, character. everybody? Put it on your list. Terms of Endearment. Still a great, great movie. Um, so, Officer and Gentleman. Well, you could have started with this. How about this? It's like you, you know, that. And then you say, and then, yeah, say, I'm then Adam would say, you guys don't Perfect. understand. Opening the door. Oh, like, you unless know. you have a midnight Apple every day, Apple. don't understand. The brain doesn't really think at this hour. I get it. You I could gentlemen point to Adam. To here. Uh, <laughs> cross I, I am on to the next round, guys. What do you think? This is all yeah. gone. Yes. Another round. That was painful. Goes away. It was I painful. Gotta, I got to have a sip of my <laughs> cocktail. Or the whole thing. I'm gonna have a sip Here's. of Sean's beer. Rachel's drinking some Guinness. Beautiful. She's having a sip Frozen. of Sean's beer. Uh, you know what I've noticed? Wives love to share. What I'm just, you know, you go out to dinner. She says, "I'll just have a little bit of yours." I'm like, "Why don't you have a little?" No. Yeah. Why didn't you get your own? This is mine, right? <laughs> I'm always doing that. Water on the counter always tastes better than if I get it. Yeah, I say to my wife, "Do you want it? Should I get you a glass?" No, I'll just have some of yours. Have right. your own wine. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and then I'll have the rest of the wine. <laughs> My wife likes to always. What? I'll have a little bit of yours. I it's only she doesn't want to commit to a whole class. Oh man, exactly right. I like your wife already. I think we go wrong. <laughs> but I commit to my glass and what she doesn't finish. Right, so I get I get like you know one and a half. That's right. great. That's why Dad, I like she drinks mine. Right, that's what I do. So I pour her a whole glass and share. Okay, so this is round three. This is musical families on film and television oh. musical families i'm sure you're already thinking of answers right now but don't say anything yet so here we go uh we're now we're on to adam because adam's been waiting for his question <laughs> what fraternal australian trio sold over 200 million records worldwide and topped the billboard charts nine times they embody the disco era of the late 70s is I, am i talking about three dog night the Bee Gees, or the hudson brothers um i'm glad this is adam's question i'm gonna go with the Bee Gees. No. the Bee Gees no. is no, that's, right. that's right the Bee Gees are australian yes. they're australian British, but yes. yes yes i didn't know yes. that australian okay I and they're both. Yeah. <laughs> they're also, side note for everyone, Adam yeah. can confirm how bad I am at pop culture stuff, so uh, don't expect a good showing here. He's not well, good at this. Well, let's see. So you've already you've <laughs> lowered <Sorry>. expectations. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, now we're on to Sean, right? Because Adam's second in, yes. in the line. Yep. We're back to Sean. We're going okay. clockwise, Tom. Clockwise. Here we go. Uh, in Hart's top 10 hit, Magic Man, a young girl asks her mama to try, try, try and understand. Remember, try, try, try to understand. He's a magic man. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
her older boyfriend is a magic man who has a has magic what what does he have magic is it fingers hands or eyes he's a magic man and he's got magic what does he have fingers i'm, hands I'm gonna or go eyes? with i'm gonna go with hands tom hands he's got magic hands hands Woo! that makes sense He's a magic man and he's good. Did I you know, I cheated on that too. I went like this. You did? That's, that, that's, that's a lie, Tom. I would never take that advice. Because <laughs> I was going to say eyes. I'm like, of course it's eyes. And Julian, she's like, <laughs> he's as pop culture savvy as you. <laughs> I'm terrible. Well, both, Adam will, he'll tell you I'm awful. Pop Here we go. I love you. You didn't get this. Now, what Beach Boys song, Jillian, did Paul McCartney once describe as the greatest song ever written hmm. so i want you to think of paul mccartney and what what he might like uh he said he once broke down in, in tears when he performed the song with brian wilson at a sound check am i talking about good vibrations kokomo or god only knows i have no idea do you know the songs Jillian. Yes, some of them. Um, are they all? Are they all um, Beach Boy songs? They're all Beach Boy songs. Adam, how's the how's the <laughs> go? Okay, so I'm gonna guess uh, the third one. Aruba, Jamaica, Aruba, one. I'll take it. To Bermuda, uh -huh. yeah. I'm gonna go with the third one. The third one. That's God only. I got one. God only. No, oh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, I was just kidding. I knew that the whole time. It's really amazing. I did not know that fact, but it is. Uh, I was listening to the song the other day and it, and I was thinking to myself, it's so beautiful. It's, it's such a great song that it is, you know, I'm a big Beatles fan and I was thinking, this is like, it's as good as the Beatles. And I remember thinking that. And then when I saw the answer to this question, I couldn't believe it. It makes sense though. Mm -hmm. So God only knows. And it was the theme song for what show anybody, what was the God only knows was the theme song for what television show it's Tom. out there for anybody. Good, Tom. Adam? I don't know the song. I don't know. I don't know the song either. A... If you should ever leave me, da 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 da. You know that? It was, uh, it, now I can't think of the name of the show. Uh, Big Love. Big Love. <laughs> I don't know that either. Oh, is that on? That was on HBO? Big that Love was, on was HBO. A... Do you remember? Yeah, that God, was a polygamist show. I'd be, right? They were skating around on the skating rink. <laughs> So, I don't know the song. I don't know. Here we go. We're on to we are on to Adam now. Adam, who became in 1975 the youngest entertainer in TV history, or the youngest entertainers? It's a duo. Ooh, I know. Duo. Ooh, I know. The youngest entertainers to host their own TV variety show. Ooh, youngest right. entertainers. Is it Richard and Karen the Carpenters? Donnie and Marie the Osmonds? Or Christy and Jimmy McNichol, the McNichols. It's got to be like the Osmond family. That's going to be my guess. Osmond family. Right? It's got to be. And she's a little yeah. bit on the tree. I'm a little bit on the tree. Remember that one? In a big head, but. Can I tell you what's weird? I remember watching that variety show because they're brother and sister and being really weirded out like when they would do love songs, you know, together. And I was so confused because. To me, they were like real people, and I was confused, like if they were siblings, why they were singing love songs, there was, you know, duets. Listen, it was weird. Rachel, I was just watching some Donnie and Marie on YouTube the other day. I just went down this this old 1970s rabbit hole, and the flirtatiousness between Donnie and Marie was it so was weird. I'm so glad I don't feel so weird that I thought that. Yes. 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 Thank you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Never watched him. It's yeah, amazing. No. Oh, mm -hmm. Also, super, super talented. I mean, the show is so square, and it's so funny when you watch it because the the hokiness of it is the is very high high level. But yeah. th they're so talented that that it makes the whole thing somehow work, you know. But you're so right about that. They were singing and looking into each other's eyes, and it was yes. just it was amazing. It was very confusing for a child, actually. I, I, it was. Uh, I love <laughs> it. <laughs> I know, and it's funny. They had more. They were more flirt flirtatious 
than uh, you know than Marsha and, and Greg. Omar and her brother. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, Marsha and Greg had a flirtatious energy between them, but the thing was they weren't really brother and sister. You know, it was. It was like, <laughs> I didn't get that one either. <laughs> Tom, you got what I said. You yeah. got Omar and her brother. Marsha. <laughs> it's so true. The uh, let's go back to Sean. Sean, right, we're back. Favorite? What famous fictional music? Give me one I can answer, Tom. Come on. Okay. All right. No, okay. Famous fictional musical family. Fictional. Mm -hmm. Was awarded first prize on the Pete Stern Amateur Hour after they performed the song Sunshine mm -hmm. Day. Day. Sunshine Day. I know, dude, he's going to be answered. I'll get it when he <laughs> Give me the options. Give me the options. I know. I, give it to me. I'll the Brady right. Kids, the Waltons, or the Partridge Family? The Partridge Family. The Partridge Family is. Boom! Wrong. It's the Brady Whoa. Kids. Oh, Sunshine, oh. Sunshine Day. Of course. <laughs> That's why I had so Guess I'll go for a walk, outside, walk outside, outside now. The sun is all shining. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! Sunshine I should have taken the hint. Yeah. Julian, did you know that? You know, this, you know. I know the song. Sunshine I didn't Day. know the answer. Okay. I thought it was a Partridge Family. Damn it! Like big I mean, I can't so say that. Fine. Bonus question. First one to yell it out. What was the name of the Brady Kids band? What did they call themselves? Um, the Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch, close, but no. Mm. That was the I, silver, I platter, I silver platters. Huh? They were trying to win a silver platter for their their Brady parents. Bunch? Oh, that's right. They they were trying to win money for their parents' oh, gift. Yeah. That's fast. Do you see my producer got that up there on the screen? It wasn't even. Uh, in the script here. Okay, here we go. Where are we now? Who did I leave off on? We're getting crushed. Jillian. Jillian. Yes. No, I'm getting crushed. Yes. This is uh, one of these finish the lyrics questions. Finish the oh. lyrics to the Partridge Family song. Where's my Partridge Family album? It went away. Finish the song, the lyrics to the, the Partridge Family song. I think I love you. So what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. Uh, Adam knows. I don't know. I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. Is it a girl who makes my heart sore? A love there is no cure for? Or what lurks within your love door? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even Who's mean? This, <laughs> I mean there, there Number two? Thing, I think. Number two. <laughs> a love there is no cure for. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we need to revisit that another, that third one another time. Well, look, the lyrics were pretty far out in the 70s. It could have been any of them. Adam, you can use that one. <laughs> I thought this was a family show. <laughs> it works. Your love door. She has a love door. So it's, uh -huh. like a, it's like a, it's a door to a room with filled with hearts and, and pillows. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Rachel. Uh -huh. All right, Adam. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. We're we're coming into the modern era now. X, uh, since, since the release of their debut album, it uh, it's about time in 2006. The Jonas Brothers have sold over 17 million records. They've been nominated for two Grammys. The three Jonas Brothers: are Nick, Jonah, and who? Who's the third Jonas Brother? I'm going to give you three names. Is it Harry, Kevin, or Liam? Jonas Brothers. Is Nick it? Jonas, you know him, right? Yeah. Wait, there's only really two of them? There's three. Nick, Jonah, and is it Kevin, Harry, or Liam? Oh, my gosh. Don't pretend like you don't know this, Adam. Know. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with... <laughs> Great acting. <laughs> Kevin? Kevin. Ah, yeah. nice. It's right. Oh, yeah, of course you knew. Right. 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 Can I the right? There's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a Liam that's a brother of those actors, and then there's a Harry Styles. I don't know. So I was like, Kevin's the only name I don't know. Yeah, but there is a Harry Styles. You're right. See? Liam Hemsworth, right? That's who you're thinking of? Right, yeah. yeah. You have his poster. So we just can't see it. These things, so that's why I just went with the one I've never heard of. Okay, guys, it's time for... Mr. Sharpie. All right. We need that. Sharpie, I, Mr. Sharpie. I am going to have a special guest uh, ask you a question. 
and uh, you can all write down your answer. Michael Loftus, take it away. Thanks, Tom. That was a, a great intro, really top notch. I didn't, I didn't think I would get emotional, you know, hearing you introducing me and then, whoo, you got me, buddy. You, you got me again. Whoo, let me just, hmm, he's good, right? He's, let's just, let's just get to the question. Let's just, whoo, okay. <clears throat> in, uh, in 2008, the game Clue was updated and re-released. In the new version of Clue, the formerly absent-minded scientist Professor Plum is now A, a millionaire video game designer, B, a gender-fluid social justice warrior, or C, a social media influencer. Think about your answer, and um, I love you too, Tom. You're a good man. Turn it off. Wait, is this for real? That's for real. <laughs> Michael, what year was this, Tom? In front yeah, of a brick wall. Okay, the year was 2008. The film was Clue. So the, he gave them very long names. Was he a video game designer, where, uh, who Professor Plum was? Video game designer, social justice warrior, or social media influencer? And you can write the, the initials if you want. I wrote this before you said it again, so Put I can remember. There. Put them up high, everybody. Good guesses. Video game designer, video game designer, SMJ, social. I, media, I, it's an I, social media oh. influencer. Social. In 2006? In 2008? Yeah. 2008? No way, man. What? You're way off. Video, video game designer. Video game. I didn't tell him. People weren't on social media in 2008 like that. There was no social media in 2008. There was Facebook. Yeah, but no one was influencer. Yeah, thank you, Julian. I know. Facebook started when I was in college. Rachel didn't know either, so. I didn't, but I would have guessed video games. <laughs> <laughs> sure she would. Kick him while he's down. <laughs> if, if anyone's in Nashville next week, Michael Loftus is recording a Fox Nation stand-up comedy special at a great club there called Zanies. And so if you're in Nashville, check it out at Zanies. He's doing live comedy, and it's going to be broadcast on the uh on fox nation so that's very cool. Nice. cool that was why that's why michael's in front of a brick wall because he's a comedian you know so he's got so there's he's, so there's live comedy shows in nashville now yes they're they're doing live events good. All right. it's good wow. we're excited. back the world is coming back right <laughs> just in time okay it's time for our act it out with adam adam you were given a secret word or phrase and it is time to show jillian how it's done yeah. This is going to be hard, but I'm going to do my best. Yeah. All right. It's a film. It's a Movie. film. Yep. Five words. Five words. Two. Second word is a small word. Small, small word. Tiny. Tiny word. Tiny? A little word. A small, small, tiny. Tiny. Miniature. Oh. Money? He's making out. Prostitute. Stripper. Prostitute. Stripper. 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 Prostitute. Oh, stripper. Oh, prostitute. Stripper. Yeah. Okay, stripper. Say with stripper. Strip cheese. No, that's two words. It's five words. Yeah. Strip. Fourth word. Third word. You said it. What's that? You already said it. The movie. Strip tease? No. Oh. Um, keep going. Stripper. Smells like. No. It smells like strippers. <laughs> <laughs> this is PG, Rachel. I'm out. I'm out of here. Uh, uh, oh, right you were doing. With, uh, kissing? No, that was that was. Can I've already failed, right? Can I that loving was, yourself? Can I can I just say it? I give up. Yeah, yeah. Say it. It's there you oh. go. Oh. You, were, you said little, and we had this going. Oh, you said, yeah. Oh, I, said, oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The honey, right. That's impossible that's to get really at him. I don't care. I, I, really I never even heard of that. You should have started. You should have known to play. Uh. I think, I think you'd have known the movie if I did house. And then go to the stripper whore thing. You want to figure that out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We'd all, if he did house, we'd all be house. House on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Different 
<laughs> Not bad, though. Adam, a, uh, a valiant effort, and uh, we've had some really tough acted outs here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm done some with Some of us did better than others. This whole round is gone, everybody. We are ready here. This is our what you call our lightning round, okay, guys? I am going to give you the, uh, the name of famous underdog films. I'm going to describe the film, and you have to tell me the film. You get it? Okay. okay. So I will describe the underdog film, the plot of the film, and you say the film. Now, look what I've done here. I, when I have my notes here, I, I label them uh, with uh, your initials. And what I did was I put Sean right next to the instructions rather than a question. So it's going to throw off all of my, uh, my entire show map here because I mistakenly labeled the questions wrong. So what I'm going to do, Sean, is I'm going to give you, I'm going to improvise one. So it's not going to have any titles because we, my producer can't do this. So I'm going to describe this to you, okay? Uh, FedEx guy crashes in an airplane and survives. What's the film? Uh, Wilson. No, no, so it was, it was, no, it was, no, it was, that was the ball. Uh, it was, I don't know. It's not Survivor, it's, um. And I guess it's the movie, it's the ball, yeah. it's the ball. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, What's the name of the movie? I, it's, it's, What's that? What's the name of the, the movie? The ball was Wilson. I know the, the ball was the Wilson. The I know, I know, I don't, uh, do, do not, uh, 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 It was Cast Away. Cast Away. Cast away. Cast away. Just, Good. We that's just saw it not long ago. That's a good one to watch too, Jillian. Another great one. Yeah, yes. I never saw that one. So Okay, good. Now good. we're back. Now my show map is going to make sense, so we, we can go to the next question. Jillian, dim-witted Bobby Boucher surprises everyone by becoming a star linebacker for the mud. Water boy. The water boy. The yes. water boy. Okay. We know Adam. what Jillian walks on, what's on a Friday night. <laughs> Adam, Matt Damon, and Christian Bale team up to build a truly revolutionary race car. Ford versus Ferrari. Ford versus Ferrari. I've never even heard of that. Okay. Uh, Sean, wheelchair-bound patches. O'Houlihan throws wrenches at Vince Vaughn and the average Joes. I know it. Vince Vaughn. I love Vince Vaughn. I've never seen this one. I've never seen this You've seen this. It's a comedy. It's, it's a amazing. It's a fierce comedy. I we love he's like my favorite. Yeah, like Vince Vaughn. Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn. 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 I, I I watched it the first 15 minutes and then turned it off. It was that bad. But I love Vince Vaughn. What? I that was amazing. the one has fail. Adam just no, I couldn't it's watch it. Top, top 10. Okay. We've got <laughs> Jillian. <laughs> Jillian. <laughs> <after Meryl> Streep. <laughs> Poor Indian boy falls through a hole in an outhouse, then competes on a famous game show. What's like, I can't even pretend to know. I don't either. This, I, this movie won, I believe, won an Academy. It what do we got, Adam? Slumdog Millionaire. Slumdog Millionaire is right. That's why they call this the light. You know what? I knew the name. I knew the movie, but I good on you, Adam, for That's pulling a great, that. That's a great movie. Wait a minute. Did I pull that right out of the hat? Did I go out of order? I, no, that doesn't count for me. No, that doesn't right. count for me. I just See? stole. No, he stole, but he doesn't get a point for that. Oh, well, now I'm going to go, since he just stole, why don't I, I'm going to give Jillian a chance to steal on this one. An overweight underachiever joins forces with a snide accountant to save Zelensky auto parts. Right, why are you even going back? Oh, to come on. Zelensky auto parts. Jillian, if you don't get it, I'm going to actually let Adam answer. I don't know. Jillian doesn't Jillian, know. Adam I actually. You don't know this, Adam? No, I do, I do, I do. Um, Tommy Boy. Oh, yes. Tommy Boy. Oh, that's classic. it. That's okay. your second favorite. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Duffies wanted a piece of that one. All right. So, Sean, Tom Hanks makes it clear to Evelyn, Dottie, Doris, and all the Rockford teaches that there's no crying in, crying baseball. in baseball. And I know the one, but I do. I know the movie. It is. It's with Rosie O'Donnell, right? And right, Madonna. Yeah. I'm drawing a blank um, on it, too. I know it. Uh, it's not a man. It's a, baseball, it's a baseball name, right? Well, yeah. Oh my God. I should. It's five words. Adam. Um. Adam, you can steal. A league of their own. League of their own. Yeah. Fill yeah. in. Sandra Good. Bullock adopts a poor young. Uh, he's a. He's yeah. a. 
Like he's a, a big, slow kid. <laughs> he's, a, he's who grows up to play for the Ultimate Ravens. Oh, um, um, the theory that two oh, I love this movie. Uh, is it Friday Night Lights? Did I make that up? You did not make it up. They both have, are about football. Um. Oh my God, I love this movie. And they buy him a truck, and then he gets into an accident in the truck oh. with the brother. Oh my gosh, it's classic. He's got to find the what? Word. He's got to find the blind side. Ah! Blind side. Ah! Love that movie. It's great. Yeah. Adam, a ragtag Jamaican bobsled team competes in the Olympics. Cool Runnings. Yeah. Cool runnings. I love just like a week Adam, ago. you're, so, you're winning by so many. Adam may be running away with it. We'll see. Okay, Sean, a former hockey player with anger issues turned golf pro gets beat up by Bob Barker. Oh. Oh. It's an, it's an Adam Sandler movie, um, and it is. It might be his most famous one. Yeah, come on. I can't get the name, though. It's like. It's, it's happy. Is this, is this happy Gilmore? Yeah. Happy Gilmore? Yeah, it's Happy, happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Golf yeah. clap. Yeah. Golf clap. Because now it's like he's Happy Gilmore Productions now, right? All his movies That's are right. Happy Gilmore, whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jillian, Tom Hanks runs back. Ping pong, eats shrimp and chocolate and loves Jenny. Oh, um, oh my God. Hello. Guys, I can't, my brain won't work. <laughs> Life okay. is just a box of chocolates. I know, and they're on the band. I know. Um it's funny, my brain's not working, firing up either. I can't I think of the names of anything. I don't know my name. I couldn't type my last name in here, obviously. Put it up on the screen. <sighs> Forrest Gump. Thank you. Forrest, Forrest, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Guys, Adam. I'm such a failure. Adam, we are guys. so bad, Jillian <laughs> and Rachel. Adam's crushing us. Yeah. Running away. We're, we're, and by the way, we're like social media, like, we came from social media. We don't or get from, into that. You mean from pop culture? Pop culture. Yeah, but pop, pop culture. culture. Yeah, like, yeah. I know nothing about pop culture. Nothing. Adam, I guess we don't either, or I don't. I'm, Adam, this one's for you. I'm going to act it out, okay? Ooh. <laughs> Jillian knows this one for sure. I don't. Oh, my God. Jillian. Uh, uh, oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I was guessing this earlier when Sean was acting. It's yeah. Rocky. Rocky is right. Funny is, even though I'm from Philly, I've never seen it. No, I, it's I Philadelphia. You've never it's a movie seen Philadelphia. Rocky? <laughs> did you? I don't know what I was. Did you see that I was drinking eggs there? Yes. I could tell. I, 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 I wasn't going to figure it out. Time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Sean Will Smith is a struggling salesman who takes custody of his little boy and lives in Ooh. his car. And he, and he does the the Rubik's cube and. Um, uh, right, I don't, uh, something about, it's something about happiness. No, I'm it's not so happiness. good. No. Feel it. Uh, Rodrigo, I'm right at the Ruby. He, he did the Ruby's Cube and got the job and became really yeah. rich, right? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. something right, about sure. happiness in it. I oh, really? I don't. I, oh, really? Listen to your wife. Is it happiness? Happy, nah, happy running, happy walking, happy trails, happy. <laughs> Put it up Happy there. Grab. The uh, so happy happiness. So happiness. Damn it. Darn it. Okay. This is supposed God, to be a lightning this... round. I'm going to go faster. Jillian, Bill Murray discovers that the floater in the swimming pool is a baby roof. Oh. Is that, is that Caddyshack? Caddyshack. Boom. Okay. Adam, Poe makes noodle soup with his dad and becomes a dragon warrior. The character is Poe. Uh, I don't know this one. Put it up there, guys. Put it up there. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. I never saw it. The kids are. Mm -hmm. I'm Sean. More than that. Sean, as Eminem battles B Rabbit, his knees are weak and his palms are sweaty. This is a oh. Eminem film. What's the name of it? Um, uh, you see you writing that, Rachel. Eight Mile. Eight Mile. Eight Mile's right. Eight yeah. Mile is right. We see and hear it's it. Eminem's only movie, right? And you cannot, Adam. Come on. Rachel thinks she's hiding. It's like squeak, squeak, squeak. Bionic ears. Jillian. They'll take my life, but they'll never take our freedom. Oh, this is so oh, cool. I don't know. 
What? No, I use this GIF a lot. <laughs> Mel I don't know pop culture. Blue you guys thing. should have not had me on this, this pop culture. This is a really good movie for you to watch on Friday night. Children. I love how Rachel's so sweet, and every time I get it wrong, she's like, this is a great one to watch on a Friday night. Close to my Guinness. This is one of those movies that everybody knows whether they've seen it or not. Yeah. I so probably good. definitely so haven't. Good. Put it up there. Put it up there. Yeah, I've never <laughs> seen it. I've never oh, seen it. That's Saturday night, Julia. Saturday night is brave. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Big time. Big time. Okay, uh, Adam, a team of brilliant black women work at NASA and play a vital role in the space race. Um, hidden figures. Hidden figures. I've never even heard of that. Hidden figures. Big hit of a movie. Big hit. Oscar. Uh, it was up for an Oscar, right? Yep. I don't know if it won, but it was up. I don't that watch award shows, guys. The lightning run. Guys. I'm all out of paper, notes, questions, and all I have left is half a cocktail. All right, so I basically want... Jillian and John are the losers. Let's take losers. A I want you to tell me, not uh, tell me first of all, who thinks Adam won? Adam won, I know it, because I was okay, keeping score. Won. Any idea of what the score was? What's the score that you have on your scratch pad there, Jillian? I have it's 12. Like 10, 7, 2. Okay, we're going to do the scores here. First up, with the Duffies, they have nine. Very good score. Nine right. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. but it sucks when you consider there's two of us. Jillian, ahead of the Duffies with 10. Jillian, who really lowered, Jillian. Really lowered expectations. I think I'm going to have like 15. Adam Klotz comes in with 15. Oh, I had you with 12. Oh, Adam, oh, good that I guessed it right. This Adam. is Adam's jam. That was very impressive, Adam. Thank you. Did he actually win something? Well, he wins uh, bragging rights around Fox News. He uses his bragging rights all the time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember when Tucker had his the, the the show on Thursday night and he gave the the uh, what's the guy's name Adam uh, the Fred Cup every yes. Saturday the Wimple Thursday night. Something Adam Wimple 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 Cup. What, was that? Yeah. what was the guy's Adam Wimple Cup? Yes, I got we one of those. I a, still have it upstairs. I, I should get something. You know, we should do the Adam Klotz Cup. I should get yeah. a favor somehow with lightning on it. We Adam, could have a lightning, the Adam Claus lightning cup. You know, like a, a bear's kissing under an umbrella, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> something for like you, something very classic like that. I think you guys just owe me a drink. <laughs> yeah. Fair. You know, Adam, a drink. Adam, you have our permission, along with the entire uh, everyone at Fox Nation, to pour yourself another bourbon. Thank you. Tom might, Tom might send you a you razor. Is drinking like straight up bourbon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's impressive. the way he does it. That's the way he does it. Guys, this was so fun. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. You should know. rethink having Julian, me on again, though, because I'm an embarrassment to society. Julian, you yeah. did great. You, you <laughs> came in ahead. Julian, of this, we, had two, this we had two and we lost. Yeah, you beat us. Okay. I miss seeing you in person, Julian. I know. You too. You know, all of you. She's past her bedtime right now. She's Everyone. just being bad. Yeah, I know. We're going to do it pretty soon. I be like the old days. It's going to be uh, uh, hanging around the office, eating the uh, free cookies in the green room. In the green room, we can. We can oh, I forgot, I forgot about that food. Yeah. You mm -hmm. want it's unbelievable. I hope COVID takes it out. Out. <laughs> Guys, Good night, all. This is the best. Good night, Jillian. Sleep tight, everybody. Thank you. Wonderful Good to be night, here. Good night, everybody. We'll see you soon on Fox Nation. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.